Well, it's finally out. After almost a year of waiting, we finally have Teapot. A.K.A. The Power of Two. A.K.A. A DeviantArt Battle for Dream Island fanfiction come to life. A.K.A. Battle for Dream Island Season 5. Or is it 4.5? I don't know. BFB is still airing in that Season 4. But anyways, I'm going to be openly honest. I'm not really excited for Teapot as much as everyone else is in the community. Because... To be totally honest, before BFB even split, most of the characters were so bland and so unlikable that you could just forget about them entirely. Now, it's not like that with every character. Most of the OGs, like the ones from seasons 1 to 2, were definitely likable. Characters like Basketball and Foley and Eggy and Pillow, like those types of characters are just bland and really unlikable. So, that's why I'm not really excited for Teapot too much. Also, the fact that episodes might come out slower. Because there's more contestants than there are in BFB now. And, judging on how long it took for the first episode to be released, I think it's safe to say we're going to be having time lapses like this. So, yeah. Expect episodes to come out slow. (laughs) But, with that out of the way... I'm not I'm not calling this series immediately shit for those things because for one I don't even know if it's going to be like that. These are just assumptions. So maybe maybe it will be good. I'm not sure. Whatever. Enough. Enough beating around the bush. Let's just get into this video. Man, shut the fuck up. Well, why did you say so? Yeah. Push now, I'm talking. <laughs> Anyways. I like how they got Nile to do too. Oh, they got the original. Okay. That's good to know. Just kidding. Rubber spatula only got 177. <laughs> no debut for you. I can't believe it. Nobody likes me. I saw like that. Is that Sam voicing him? And also, I think I saw that character on, like, Angel's Object Show, or Camp. Oh, uh, there's some of the BFM characters. If they don't trust him, then why did they leave? Nineball's a girl? Now it's even more contestants. See why Aggie's an asshole? I'm a zigzag too. Don't worry, Lightning. You have me. I don't really want you. Snowmations, yay. Thanks. I mean, she was just being a total this will be your bitch. First time. Isn't it obvious? Let's just be death back again. 90s. Oh shit. Damn this intro. Oh my god, that this is actually a good intro. Oh 
Ooh. Damn, that's good. Every time I look at Snowball, I can't- I cannot think of Snowmations. <laughs> Fanny won't get up. She's killing tree. I saw the leaves. Vandalism. Motivation. Don't yell at Snowman. Oh, they probably want me to fly up. Now our remote's dead, though. The strongest team on Earth is Saints! So, Death Pact again loses, and they'll be up for elimination. No! It's all wrong. Damn it, now Iggy's not gonna be eliminated. Damn, what the fuck? Take a peek before four caught me and boarded it up. I won't hesitate this time. Oh shit. Three years. Don't say exiters. God damn it. Okay, overall I thought that was a really good episode. I thought the comedy was good, the characters are written well. Except for fucking Eggy. And even the Bland characters were somewhat okay in this. Well, usually Bland characters are likable, but they just don't have anything to do with the series. So it's kind of to be expected. Probably the best part about this episode was that damn intro. That intro was dope as hell. It had like an anime kind of style. I don't know who animated that, but they did an amazing job. So yeah, overall, it's a pretty good series. If you want me to go into the watch it or bash it category, it's a definite watch it. It's Battle for Dream Island. It's, it's BFDI, of course you have to watch it. So yeah, anyways, thank you for watching this video and see you later.